Its existence as a learning institution is directed by vision, mission, and core values of the DepEd through offering premium services, producing holistically developed learners, and practicing shared responsibility that serves as its battle cry for transformation to happen. The Kauaian District 2 has established its prestige not only within the division but regional and national level as well. This was made possible through the able leadership of the school administration and the concerted efforts of principals, school heads and the teachers, learners, parents and other stakeholders for the school year 2020-2021. The Kauaian District 2 accomplishments and achievements were found by making it one among the performing school in the division. I am Alicia V. Gonzalez, PSDS of the Kauaian District 2, proudly presents the Mid-Year Program Review and Performance Appraisal to ensure the delivery of efficient and effective basic education in the new normal and to improve the curriculum implementation in all learning areas, the seven banners of CID lights were executed within the district. KRA-1, Instructional Supervision and Learning Delivery. Ensuring the actual implementation of the actual mission in Takawayan District 2, Instructional Supervision, Technical Assistance Provision, and Monitoring Evaluation of Curriculum Delivery are being done in the district. Armored with the seven division banner programs of CID lights, the district adopted Project Shine to improve the performance level of school heads. To capacitate school heads' competence on instructional supervision in order to enhance their competence in the delivery of instruction, here are my supervisory accomplishment reports. District validation of SBM levels of practice that aims to give technical assistance to school for improved operationalization of the BELCP. Quarterly validation of the the Division Project 2 and AIP to recognize schools' best practices where the district selected three schools as best implementers. Gender and Development District Meeting and Awarding of Schools GAD Coordinators. Five ELLN LAC sessions to improve teachers' capacity to teach and to assess early reading and numeracy skills in K-3 levels. District Validation of Annual Improvement Plan and work financial plan. In-service training for teachers that aims to further expand teacher skills and knowledge on different digital teaching materials, systems, and approaches that are useful in delivering quality instruction under new normal approach. District presentation of school monitoring and evaluation plan adjustment to track implementation and output systematically and measure the effectiveness of programs. Virtual validation of SBM LOP where Bukal Elementary School and Tagawaya National High School were the two schools being validated as they categorized level 2 maturing as their SBM LOP. With activities presented, technical assistance was given to school heads in order to enhance teachers' educational performance and competence in the delivery of instruction, 100% of preschool's participation was recorded. As to teachers' profile of Tagawayan District 2, it has a total of 341 teachers. In terms of length of service, 58 have already rendered for 3 years, 135 for 4 to 10 years, 148 already served for more than 10 years. As regards to educational attainment, 102 teachers obtained bachelor's degree, 226 obtained bachelor's degree with masteral units, 53 already finished their master's degree, 10 are taking up their doctoral units, and 2 already finished their doctoral degree. For the trainings attended, 300 teachers participated in the district level, 240 in the division, 89 in regional and national level, and 40 international level. For KRA2 Learning Resources, Project Spark of the Seven Banners, which provides learning resources that understand various instructional and professional development needs of both teachers and learners. Our district acquired five duplicator copying machines 
bond paper, ink, and other related materials needed for the reproduction of SLMs, and activity sheets of the learners from the SEF budget. Teachers also crafted localized materials. It was unveiled through different programs and projects initiated by different schools like Silid Aklatan sa Barangay, which aims to provide access to supplementary materials. To improve learning outcomes of our learners, the Project Dream is made by giving localized reading materials with comprehension suited on the reading ability per week and assessing their comprehension levels. 3P, 2KI project, pagbasa, pagsulat at pagbilang, kaagapay ko si Inay and partner. And yours truly lead the development and evaluation of the school-based localized materials for primary grade levels. And for this to happen, teachers undergo capacity building program like lack session, webinars, and trainings relevant to teaching strategies to improve instruction. Utilization of the materials were monitored to check the progress of the learners and as a result, there is a significant increase in the number of readers in our district. KRA3 Learning Assessment Well-designed assessment can encourage active learning especially when the assessment delivery is innovative and engaging. For learning assessment, schools program on classroom-based assessment, intervention and remediation with readers and numerates, and MPS in eight learning areas was monitored every quarter for continuous improvement of learners' performance. All schools within the district were monitored in terms of implementation of PAPs relative to learning outcomes based on AIP. Moreover, results derived from utilization of standardized monitoring tool were analyzed and interpreted. Best practices were monitoring of learners' performance through home visitation and via social media like sending videos or chat in messenger. A scheduled meeting with the school heads for update reporting on issues and concerns with the printed modules and results of learners' activity sheets done and monthly coordination with parents and guardians. Under Project GLOW, different activities were conducted to develop appropriate localized assessment tool in all learning areas to gather data that will serve as basis for possible interventions. Each schools develop appropriate assessment tools based on learning competencies and monitored learning outcomes assessment results quarterly. Through different school activities and best practices, the Kauaian District 2 reported 71.19% or 4,100 105 out of 5,184 pupils were readers in the elementary level for Filipino and 3,868 or 71.61% readers in English and 73.46% or 2,798 out of 3,809 secondary students and 2,765 or 72.59% students for Filipino and English respectively. In terms of numeracy from elementary level, 79.26% or 4,109 pupils were numerates, while 69.96% or 2,665 students were numerates from junior high school. The MPS results were also significant. The graph presents the results of MPS in eight learning areas. It shows that ESP got the highest MPS result of 81.78% and mathematics as the lowest with 73.78%. All results showed that it is moving towards mastery. KRA4 Research when it comes to research, Project Bright was introduced to prepare and utilize researches to attain 5% improvement in learners' performance. In our district, we conducted research plenum and seminar on action research to address the needs and issues and provided appropriate interventions. During the said plenum, there were 59 approved titles and 19 proposals were technically assessed. Also, there were five research proposals that was submitted to BERF. In addition, teachers engaged themselves to professional activities that will further hone their potential, all for the sake of school growth and development. Teachers presented their research studies in national and international level. 
As a result of these efforts, our students from Tagawaya National High School claims different awards as they joined the ESRA 2021 First Division Multidisciplinary Research Congress for Senior High School. In addition, they also bagged 15 awards during the 4th Congressional District Senior High School Research Festival and presented their papers in the 3rd DLSU Senior High School Research Congress held at the De La Salle University. For others, other activities were also monitored in the implementation of the DepEd initiated programs, activities, and projects such as WINS, which is designed to achieve learning and health outcomes of Filipino students. Despite of the current pandemic, Brigada Escuela was successfully implemented in the spirit of Bayanihan, private institutions and individuals, government agencies, local government units, and other organizations contributed to DepEd campaign to ensure accessible and quality basic education. Similarly, ADAPA School Program opens opportunity to private sector to become dynamic and strong partners towards the noble goal of educating all Filipino. And we are so lucky that there are private entities who extend their assistance to generate investments and support to our district. To reduce the damage caused by natural hazards, our DRRM district coordinators executed ethic of prevention. Different activities were executed like earthquake drill by the deaf and personnel. Learners were also enjoined to participate the activity at home. Our district also takes their part during the Fire Prevention Month where BFP personnel visited its schools and facilitate safety inspection. Moreover, our district strengthened the implementation of gender and development programs, projects, and activities. It was reflected through different activities to integrate the principles of gender equality, gender equity, gender sensitivity, non-discrimination and human rights in the provision and governance of basic education. On coping strategies, changes of work process in accordance with health and safety protocols, schools in the district implements skeletal workforce. Only teachers with essential tasks are required to come to school as per DepEd order. Teachers are allowed to report to school provided that they are observing physical distancing and strictly following the IATF safety protocols. To strengthen and continuously monitor the progress of our ongoing programs, projects and activities, implementation, 